fans. <laughs> Welcome to a very special holiday edition of <laughs> Shower Girls. Shower Girls! <laughs> Woo! That wasn't rehearsed. Okay. Welcome back from college, everybody. Yeah! Lisa, Katie, Maggie, Dana, uh, uh, Grace, yeah! and Emily. I got them all. A little hesitancy on one of them. The old age is catching up. Okay, thank you for joining us. And we will try to get to your comments and questions also as the, the group that we refer to as the Shower Girls talks about their college experience. Who, who has something really important to tell us about your first semester of college? Oh. STDs are with you for life. Straight off the bat. Did you learn that one of your classes? Yes. Okay. Old Testament. Old Testament. Old Testament. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure where this is going. Okay. Hey, all I gotta say is. What's that got to do with, with your college? <laughs> it's not Catholic. Uh, it's not Catholic, no. Okay, anybody else? Uh, biking in the rain can be fun if you make it. <laughs> biking in the rain can be fun if you make it. Yeah, otherwise it's miserable. <laughs> is this at a, at a college with lots of bicycles like UC Davis? Yes, yes. it okay. is. Okay. okay, so bike in the rain can be fun. If you make. Let's see what comments are. Where are all of our comments? Or, or maybe I need to make sure the comments are turned on for everybody here. That's probably it. Let's see. That's, yeah, that's probably it. Not, not something else. No, like Let's see here. Are you guys, uh, yeah, we have lots of people watching. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. Boo Boo Kitty, are you out there? She probably is. I've never said that yet. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's all, oh, there we go, Kara Vaughn says hello, you guys may know oh, her. Oh, hey! hey! Teresa D., hi there, doctor and girls. And, there we go, and we'll select normal. There we go. Do you guys want a filter? So, because of the way this is set up, okay, here we go. So, uh, we have an article to talk about, which is appropriate with people studying, and sometimes using caffeine to help with Touch bros. studying. Yeah. Okay, so this this survey of seven college students here. Wait, seven? Wait, no, six. 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 This survey of six college students. Oh, hello, crazy cat lady. Six college students. <laughs> How many of you have used caffeine for the purpose of being awake for class or for study? Not me. You never do. Really? So all but Lisa have used well, caffeine. I can jack it up by myself. Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, thanks for sharing. <laughs> so who, who knew about the article about coffee that came out uh, in the British Medical Journal? Oh, no. No, it's, I haven't heard about it. I can't say. I only read the American. Is it good or not? <laughs> so, America uh, only? America we, only. We are true patriots here. Okay, so apparently none of them read the British Medical Journal, but somebody brought it up. One of you guys brought it up. No, so we just we said talk about caffeine, caffeine in college. We just said talk about caffeine. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Not even knowing that yes. the most recent issue of the British Medical Journal just had a very major article on coffee and its health effects. We're just so woke. What does it's it say? Good health effects? What does it well, say? Well, let's, let's go over that. So they went over, I don't know how many, but several meta-analyses. Does anybody know what a meta-analysis is? Oh, yeah. Like a big one? All of them. It's, like it's, big it's, analysis. It's where they, analysis. analysis. Katie on says analysis. it's analysis mm -hmm. on analysis. So it's where they have lots of studies and they look at all the studies together and try to come up with, well, if we have, you know, seven studies and six of them are really strong, four, and one of them's not that well done and it's against this outcome, then chances are the outcome is such and such. Well, in this case, what they found was that it looks like coffee has positive. Yes! <laughs> that it lowers all cause mortality and even specifically mortality from cardiovascular disease, Woo! which is right why here. Yes. I had been. That's is that ca is that caffeine? <laughs> now it's hot chocolate. Okay. <laughs> That's hot chocolate. chocolate is we, we may later like blur out the lower part of the video, like we did on the current <laughs> video that's out, where we blur out the uh, exam that Dr. Cerny did. So the. Uh, <laughs> The, the article was about coffee, not caffeine. Oh. Um, okay, but I'm Red Bull! 
Is that Red Bull? Is that what they put in the Blended Red Bull. It's a Red blended Red Bull. Are you guys planning on staying up tonight? Yeah. 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 Okay, that's why you have all the <laughs> So I, I see Dutch Brothers t- uh, cups like everywhere here. So yeah. They gave us the pink straw, which means that they think that we're cute. Beautiful. Did they say that? That's it's just like a, a no thing. It's a no thing. thing. They get the pink it's straw. Implied. It's yeah. implied. It's implied that they, they so think you're feeling good. <laughs> was it a friend from high school who was working? It, no. Okay. It was a creepy thirty-year-old. A creepy thirty-year-old. Ga- he was twenties. In his twenties. Okay. Harrison says coffee keeps me alive. Teresa says it does for her too. And uh, Lindsay Antoine, one of our uh, patrons, uh, is glad to see that you guys are home. Uh, Teresa D's asking about five-hour energy, and certainly the article was not about five-hour energy. It was about coffee, and that's what I want to bring out. Is it was coffee without. All the stuff that we like in it when we order it at Dutch yeah, Brothers. Is it just black? Yeah. yeah. Darn. I so. Milk it. I said, it's it's so it, it was not the uh, the the uh, docho medium docho no whip that I usually get. It was oh. it was docho. yeah double, double chocolate. chocolate mocha. Whoa! Double chocolate mocha. Whoa. <laughs> it was just plain coffee. Growing. So <laughs> don't go having a a docho no whip thinking you're doing something positive for your health. That's not what the study showed. It was just coffee, black coffee. And that, what was surprising was how many, like three to five cups a day. Lindsay Antoine says, I can't have caffeine. The doctor recommended I leave it alone to help with anxiety <coughs> issues. Yeah, I would say that the article did not mention any good benefits for anxiety. So if you have anxiety or a tremor, it's not going to help for that. <laughs> guess not, guess not. Okay, somebody else said something. Uh, I, Harrison says, I drink coffee with half and half only. Uh, I mostly drink it for the taste, and caffeine is secondary. Butterfly Girl says, yep. I can't have caffeine because I have a fast heart. Yes, and that would be something else. Even though it's uh, lower uh, cardiovascular mortality, I would still say somebody that has a problem with a fast heart rate probably wouldn't want to be going having that. And we haven't even talked about high blood pressure because it does raise blood pressure. That's another area where I would not be as quick to tell people to feel free to have five cups of coffee a day. Harrison says, I feel that caffeine in Sundrop makes me jittery, but coffee doesn't. I don't have an explanation for that. Sundrop may have something else in it. Who knows what Sundrop is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Comments from the shower girls. <laughs> well, I'm glad I have that. Yeah, I drink a lot of coffee, but I had to cut back because it kind of gave me like a headache. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I felt some symptoms of acid reflux. So Ooh, okay. that's another. one negative. Thing. Yes. That is yet another one. As Grace points <coughs> out, another it can one. <laughs> Grace points out that GI issues might be a reason not to if you have symptoms for having the coffee. Uh, Lindsay Antoine points out that Butterfly Girl, me too, my normal heart rate is between 90 to 100 beats a minute. Sorry, Lindsay. Keep it. Butterfly Girl's on here, not you. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's from Grace. Anybody else? I have a question. So, coffee kind of makes me tired. More than it like wakes me up. I Interesting. Feel like. So Katie gets tired from coffee. Was. Katie's also from Mars. Yeah. No, boys are from Mars. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, boys are from Jupiter because they're more stupider. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was from Venus. Girls go to college to get more knowledge. Hey, can we go off? There are more Okay. Girls so Katie says. Feminism. <laughs> okay. Katie says that. 